And honestly, this album really, really impressed me. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Molly and in today's video I am going to be going over all of my favorite albums that have been released in 2021 so far. I can say that so far 2021 has actually been a pretty good year for music. There have been some really good albums that have come out and we're only halfway through 2021 so I'm sure there's bound to be a lot more great stuff coming our way. And I'm just going to go through these albums in order of when they were released so I'm not going like my least favorite to my favorite or anything. I'm not ranking them at all. They're all really good albums and I would highly recommend all of these. So the first album I'm going to talk about is On All Fours by Goat Girl. This one came out on the 29th of January of this year. I would almost describe the sound of this album as like psychedelic folk music. It, it's kind of an odd combination of both of those genres. There's moments on this album it reminded me a little bit of Bat for Lashes, kind of a similar sound to that. But this album is great. I love the tracks Pest and Sad Cowboy. I think those are probably my two favorites. Overall, it just has a great sound to it. It flows really well. Great album, and I would definitely highly recommend checking it out. The second album on my list is The Things They Believe by Loathe. This one came out on February 7th of this year. And this album, I feel like people were kind of mixed on. Loathe's second album, I Let It In and It Took Everything, was just very highly regarded in the metal music world. And I think when they put their most recent album out this year, it might have been a little disappointing for Loathe fans who are kind of into their darker, heavier sound. But this was actually the first Loathe album I listened to, and I loved it. I'm really into kind of cinematic, atmospheric sounding music. And so this album was right up my alley. Very relaxing, ambient music to listen to. It's great background music. If you just want to turn something on, like while you're, I don't know, studying or just really doing anything, it's a great album to turn on. But yeah, The Things They Believe by Loathe, this album just has a great soundscape to it. So yeah, that's my second pick so far for my favorite albums of 2021. Neurotius by Chevelle, also known as Nothing Is Real, and this is a simulation. It's an acronym for that. This is my next pick. This album I actually really got into. There's maybe a few tracks on it I might choose to skip, but overall it's just really, really well done. It's got a lot of energy on it. Just the overall sound really drew me in. I think the tracks toward the beginning of this album are some of my favorites. So Long Mother Earth, Mars Simula, and self-destructor are probably like my top three those songs are just awesome in my opinion but yeah this album i didn't really know what to expect when i started listening to it but i was really drawn in it's a good one it's definitely one of my favorites that has come out this year so far Next up is God's P at State's End by Godspeed You Black Emperor. This album came out on April 2nd and it just is very, very layered and so cohesive and there's just a ton going on with this album. You've got these beautiful orchestral sounds, but then you also have a lot of kind of modernistic touches and sound effects fused in with that and they blend it really well. This album overall I just found really interesting to listen to. There's a lot going on sonically. Specifically the track Fire at Static Valley just honestly blew me away. This is my favorite track on this album. The whole album is great but this one really stuck out to me. Just overall great album. I've never really heard anything exactly like this and I think Godspeed You Black Emperor did something really cool sonically with this album. They transported me to this place sonically and I think that's pretty impressive when an artist can do that. My next favorite album that has come out this year so far is Young Heart by Birdie. This one was released on April 30th and honestly this album really really impressed me. I'm in general a fan of Birdie's music. I think she's a really talented singer and songwriter. Her style of music doesn't always appeal to me. It's not always the type of music I'm in the mood for but this album really sucked me in. Every track on it is fantastic in my opinion. It's just a gorgeous album from beginning to end. Some of my favorite tracks are Voyager, Loneliness, uh, Deepest Lonely is really good, and I think my favorite is Quickly Becoming Celestial Dancers. That one is just 
so relaxing, so, so beautiful. This is definitely, as of right now, probably like top three albums of this year. I, this album is fantastic in my opinion. My next pick is going to be Fortitude by Gojira. This album I loved. It's got so much energy on it and Gojira in general is just a band that I think has a great sound. They just fuse so many different dynamics and elements on their albums and they all have this great, really intense energy, but also kind of a natural, more restrained side to them as well. And they did that again with Fortitude. I thought this album was great. It's not quite my favorite Gojira album, but it's really good. It's definitely a solid album for me. I think my favorite track on this one is the last track, Grunt. Mind. That one just goes crazy. It's a great album closer, but overall there's some great tracks on this one and I would highly recommend it. My next pick, and this is no surprise to anyone most likely, is Blue Weekend by Wolf Alice. This one was released on June 4th of this year. Wolf Alice in general is just a band I'm a huge fan of. I love their sound. I love their music. And Blue Weekend might just be my favorite album from them. It's still kind of in contention with My Love is Cool. They're pretty much equally tied in my eyes. But Blue Weekend is fantastic. The whole album is great. I think my favorites are Lipstick on the Glass feeling myself and I do really like Smile and The Last Man on Earth too. Those are kind of my favorite tracks but just overall it's a great album and so far it is probably my favorite that has been released this year. Definitely at least in my top three. Another album that was released on June 4th and another album that is making my favorites list so far is Jubilee by Japanese Breakfast. This is kind of a you could say quirky little indie pop album that just works great. I thought this album was a great listen, very enjoyable, entertaining. It's got some great sounds on it. It's kind of a great fusion of some pop qualities and elements, but not quite as upbeat as a traditional pop album. There's some more kind of restrained indie folk stuff at times, and then you've got some experimental sounds and everything thrown on. I don't know, just overall this album I thought flowed really well. The tracks on it are all great. There's no skips for me. I really liked Be Sweet, Slide Tackle, and Posing in Bondage. Those were some of the tracks on this one that stood out to me, but the whole album's great. I would highly recommend checking it out. Now this next one I'm only including because it's so awesome. It's an EP, so it technically doesn't really qualify for this list, but I just enjoyed it so much. I just wanted to quickly talk about it, but it's the Eat NXT soundtrack by Poppy that came out on June 8th of this year. I loved this EP. I just think Poppy is a great musician that just throws everything into her music and she gets so intense, so crazy with the sound of her tracks, but she does it in a way where it's not too much. It's like just enough. And this EP is just another testament to how awesome of a musician Poppy is. Yeah, I'm looking forward to her next album for sure, but I just figured I'd throw this EP on here really quick and mention it because I thought it was great. My next pick is No Gods, No Masters by Garbage. This one was released on June 11th, and this album is a little bit long. It's like a two-sided album, and there's a couple tracks on it that don't quite work for me. But overall, this album really, really impressed me. I started listening to it and really got caught up in the whole album and the sound. A lot of my favorite tracks are on the first side of this album. So The Creeps, Uncomfortably Me, A Woman Destroyed, and This City Will Kill You are all favorites of mine. Just overall, across the board, this album has some great songs on it. And lyrically, the themes on it are really interesting as well. It's definitely worth checking out if you haven't heard it already. All right, and my final pick for my favorite album of 2021 so far is Cinema by The Marias. I recently did a little album review of this one, so it's probably no surprise that this one is on my list. This album is just very dreamy, very upbeat at times, but there's also very restrained moments on it too. It's kind of like this dreamy, languid, indie pop sounding album and it just is great. The production on it is amazing. It's just got a great sound to it. It really transports you to another place when you listen to it. It's kind of like you're in some sort of trance or dreamlike state. My favorites on this one are probably Calling You Back and To Say Hello. I think those are my top two picks, but the whole album is great. There's no skips. Every track is good. I just really liked this one. 
So that is going to wrap up my little roundup of my favorite albums that have been released in 2021 so far. I am really looking forward to the rest of this year because the first half of 2021 I think has been pretty good in terms of music and I will be curious to see how many of these albums make it on my favorite albums of 2021 list. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, definitely down in the comments let me know what your favorite albums of this year have been so far and if you've heard any of the albums that I've mentioned in this video, let me know what you thought. As usual, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.